You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. I never believe love is so real. I never believe it's strong like this. I never know love can change and transform just like this. Love will get more. You want to see what now? Hey, no, 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 coming from my neighbor's house. I've been, you know, I've already instructed the security man to go check what's going on there. Don't mind that. Yeah, so how are you? Ah, uh, of course, of course, of course, I miss you. Ah, uh, most definitely I'm going to get you some goodies, of course. Ha, yes, yes. Um, before I go ahead, let me ask you that question. Did you, did you see me in your dreams? Did you? You did? <laughs> I was gonna tell you I saw you in mine. Oh uh, yeah, you were looking so beautiful. You and I were wearing the white and white, walking down the aisle, looking straight into each other's eyes. And you know, say that word. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> of course dreams come true. Yeah. All right, uh, driving it now, I'll see you in a jiffy, all right? I love you. Of course. <laughs> Don't do what I wouldn't do. SD coming through. SD coming through. Hey, hey, get to so. Uh, I'll call you back with you. I love you. I was. I will not leave. do. to do I do
Mama. I want to make go. You're looking really nice. Thank you. But I'll look better if you get married. At least you can imagine me like this in your wedding. Dancing, being happy. Ah, ah. Mama, I will get married. Don't worry. Talking of which, your friend Chetana was here. She said she will be getting married. Yes, yeah, so she, she told, told me. You, yeah. Yeah. She said she'll be happy if you honor her wedding ah. and celebrate with her. She said she has been calling you on the phone, but your phone has not been going. She doesn't need to ask of anything. I'm her friend. I must be there. In fact, after talking with you now, I'll go to her house. Eh? I'm so happy for her. So when will people celebrate you like this? Look at how happy you are. Talking about how you're going to be happy, celebrate with her, go to her house. When will people do the same for you? My, my, my own will happen. When? Okay. I am sure Papa came asking for your hand in marriage and not the other way around. Uh -huh. So allow me do it the normal way. My man will come. Yes, my husband came to ask my hand in marriage uh -huh. because I was eager to get married. If someone he, he, he wants to marry you and you're not showing any interest, he pushed your work and work at the main fact. I am in a relationship. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let him come and marry you. Is it not the one you said has been spending this money on you? Look at half, look at the kind of hair you're wearing. Look at the kind of clothes you're wearing. If he has money to spend all this on you, he will have money to come and pay your diary. Do the tradition and in fact, do all everything and marry Mama, you. you are getting on my nerves. Ah. I came here for us to discuss like mother and child, but you don't want that to happen, obviously. I will leave you. Leave how? Mama, I So, no, no, you want me to die like this without no grandchildren? Oh, eh? Oh my God. Encourage your sister and yourself to... We will not get my give it to a man. Give it to a man. When you give it to the man, the man will love you. Hey! What is this? Hello, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I'm still on the program, sir. Sir, you know I can't promise you. I mean, it has always been my policy. But I'll soon be done with this. I promise you. No, 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 sir. You can even come to my office right now to see that I'm a man of my word. I've been working on it. As a matter of fact, I have not even gone home. I've been here since yesterday. Uh, that, that reminds me. Sir, so please, can I call you back? Okay. I should have not had my bath. Oh. God. I need to get home at once. I need to... Am I getting Sinta's error?
when we slept here last night. What's the time? I don't even. I I came to wait for my man, and I dozed off. I didn't even know I I slept here. Listen, it's very risky for someone like you to be here. It's very risky. I know, but it was not intentional. I, um, sorry about that. And that my neighbor, I don't even understand him. Hmm? He doesn't even talk to anyone. Did you see the girl that was here? Which girl? Don't pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Listen, Clement, I am not ready to rack my brains around for you this morning. As you can see, I'm very tired from work. If you don't have something constructive to say, then allow me to go inside. What? She, she used to come here whenever you're around. What are you saying? Wait. You mean my girl was here? <laughs> Your girl? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said you don't know her. Get back home now. I had to return the fabric back to that woman. Man, she's been stressing my life. Ah! The only fashion designer. I don't know, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. What is it? You can't believe for four days I haven't seen my man. Four days now. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Is he out of town? Out of town where? He's in town. But his usual way of, I am busy, I am busy, I am busy. I am tired though. This thing he's doing is too much. When will Mark change? I don't know. This is so unfair. Eh? It's so unfair. I'm just an unhappy woman. I can imagine. I have a man in my life, yet it seems as if I don't have any. Eh? It's as if I'm chasing after him. I'm tired though. Wait, wait. Do you think he's seen another woman? Wouldn't it be better if he's seen another woman? At least if he has another woman, I will know that there's something taking his time. But he does not. He's just married to his job, his computer. Eh? Job is important too, but when it comes to Mark, his own is extraordinary. I don't find it funny. I think you should go and see him at his workplace or something. And you think I've not been there? I've hmm. been there. But he now locks himself in such a way you think no one is in there. But whereas he's inside there, you will not from now to tomorrow, he will not open the door for you. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with all these tech guy or whatever they call them, co computer developers are uh, viewing. What's wrong? Is it the only, um, uh, what, is it um, computer analyst or something in this town? I don't eh? know. His own is too much. It's too much, now that's what I'm saying. I'm frustrated though. I have a man, but as if I'm single. I am frustrated. Oh wow. Thank God I even have a job. What if I don't come out here to do this job? I, I would have gotten depressed by now. I'm telling you. You that have a man now, huh? me that don't have a all. Are we not on the same boat now? It's because it's as if you don't even have a boyfriend. Because you don't want to have. What do you mean I don't want to have? Which young girl does not want to have a boyfriend? Give a Kenny a chance then. Give a Kenny. That one that doesn't have money. Girl. Don't baby me. Mark, so you've been in town and you haven't been taking my calls. Baby, it's not really what he looks like. Um, I'm rushing. Don't even so. tell me that. Don't tell me that. Come on, baby. Please, let's not do this here. Don't hop into the car. Like I will explain everything. You always have something to say. Come on, baby. Please. Come into the You may not understand what you have. Until you lose it, you may not understand what you have. 
Hello, girlfriend. How are you doing? Oh, oh, Steph. So, tell me, what do you think about this guy? Cindy, I can comfortably say that your girl here has finally found the man of her dreams. <laughs> girl, I'm telling you, he sounds so heavenly. He sounds as if he's not from this part of the earth. I'm telling you the truth. And guess what? He's so sure of his words. <laughs> and above all, hmm, he has this sense of dressing. Like if you see the way he dresses, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm going crazy already. <laughs> guess what? He is what we call a perfect gentleman. Girlfriend, honestly, from what you have been saying about this guy, I'm sure I can hear the wedding bell bring in from a distance. Yeah! Girlfriend, yeah, yeah, yeah! I can't wait! You know what? He actually mentioned something like that the other day. Mm -hmm. He mentioned this, but I would like him to make it official by adorning this finger! <laughs> oh, girlfriend, I am happy for you. Well, you need to get back here so we can toast and drink to this new guy, okay? And I can't wait. Please just get back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Guess what, you two? I wanted to start getting used to my absence. Mm -hmm. Because very soon, thus big, I will be moving into my man's house permanently. Oh, and now I am jealous, girlfriend. I am jealous. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Girlfriend, who is that? Um, yes, my love. <laughs> my sweetheart. You know, I, I want to go make breakfast for him. I know he's starving by now. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> you seem so excited. Who are you talking to? Um, actually, my friend, Cindy. Cindy, meet my God's giving gift. And <laughs> oh, my love, my best friend, Cindy. Best friend. Yes. <laughs> Perhaps your chief bridesmaid <laughs> on that day. You can say that again. Of course. Uh. Oh, good day, sir. Oh yeah, good day, Cindy. How are you? It's my pleasure meeting you, sir. Oh uh, no, the pleasure is mine. Um, I think you should talk to your friend. I'll speak with you later. Hello, girl. You see him? What is wrong with you? Huh? How can I told you that I have someone? I don't mean. Listen, it doesn't matter how many times you call me. I have a very important, a sweet woman. I don't need all this distraction, please. This will be the last time you, I've blocked you the first time, and now. Stop calling me! Um, um, God, let me call you back. Let me call you back, please. Babe. Yes, love. I know, but that's not enough reason for you to panic. Are you kidding me now? It is not enough reason for me to panic? Can you not hear yourself at all, Mark? I've called you consecutively for five days. You haven't been taking my calls, neither did you return them. And you're telling me that it is not enough reason for me to panic? Really? Baby, you know the nature of my job. See, for days now I have been sleeping in this office. Working so hard for the both of us. Or how else do you think I make the money I use in buying designer's clothes for you? Bags, hair and shoes. It's from this office. I don't need that. I do not need it. You've been taking care of me, buying me hair clothes and everything. That is not what I need. I need your attention. Leave all those things and give me your time. Am I asking for too much? Baby, I do care about you. You don't! As a matter of fact, I was even on my way home to bed and then get one hour rest before coming back here before you found me. It is about your job. Always about your job. Your work, your work, now, tomorrow and ever. That is all you've ever cared about. But no, it will not happen again. You have to give me time. Baby, please, I, I have to take this call. It's very important. H Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, of course, sir. The website will be live this evening. I just need more plugins and bandwidth and it will be live. Exactly, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Baby, look, can I just finish this job? Then we'll talk about this. You will not finish any job. I will not agree. This is your establishment for crying out loud. You should have time for me. It's not like you're working for somebody. You're not doing any job again. Mm. You should have time for me. 
If you don't make out time for me, you're not doing nothing here. Better stop that job now. Come and take care of me. Babe. Yes, Lord. Who was that? Who was who? That? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you think that was anything? It's I just some people your husband to be is cute, wealthy with so much swag. Girls will run out to me. Something I already told them I have a queen. A queen. Stop bothering yourself about tax, rags. You don't belong here. You do. You do. Yes, baby. You know you Are you kidding me? I love you more. Be deaf, please, to all these people. They don't belong anywhere. But guess where you belong? Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me show you how much I love you. Yes. Of course, I'm meant to kill you. Mm -hmm. Will you open these gates? As what? As the madam of this house. <laughs> Look at you. See, let me tell you something. It's only a shower. It's only a shower that has the right to, to order me to open the door or even sack me. Wait, did you just refer to me, Nancy, as an Ashawo? You've just said it. Hey! That is what you are. Is your mother! I mean, in fact, your entire female generation that is a shower. See. You the mad, Abby? Now you the mad. You don't have when sense. My, when my old guy introduced you to this company, he called me gentle soap, my GM, general gate manager. He said, this girl is a shower, international a shower. International, international overall, Ashawo, that is what you are. Me, yes. Ashawo? Yes. You don't have sense. You see you, eh? You're there doing on the great man. Open the door for you. I will deal with you if you don't open it. See. Leave me alone. Hey, 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 hey. Don't shout. Don't shout. You are disturbing my yoga. My yoga is in, inside having a good time with a fine girl. A fine girl. She gave breath past you. She even gave nyash past you. Your own Ashawo did learn. You eh? are stupid. You're very stupid. You are mad. What's that? You're... Leave my road! See, I said see, leave the road! See, see, see. Call him on phone. You say you have his number. Call him on phone. Let me see. So, I you think I'm joking with you? You are an idiot! Open this door, Jatu! Jatu, open this door! If I come inside, I'm going to deal with you. Stupid boy! You're doing ordinary get my Yeah, 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 yeah. Wind goes soon blow. And he will feel it. Nice. That is how life works. <laughs> no, you will love it. I'm heading for study gate. Oh, that can be at my gate. My neighbor. Oh, that man married three wives, and ever since then, the street has known no peace. They're always at loggerhead with each other, fighting here and there, making noise. My oh, dear. Three wives? Yeah, three wives. That's like inviting trouble upon oneself. Mm -hmm. That's life for you. So men like to take unnecessary risk. Wow. You know, these things happen when you don't look for the bone of your bone, the woman of your dream, the love of your life, the one that God has made for you. You keep trying, you know, you marry this one, it doesn't work. You marry another one, it doesn't work. You marry, and these things make some men marry up to 12 wives. 12? Mm -hmm. Some even marry more than. Wait, um... Are you saying people uh, take more than one wife because the first one is ugly? Mm, sometimes, yes, but it's not always about the look. It's about compatibility, you know? When two people are not compatible, things like that happen. Uh, so, um, unlike me, who has the best? Mm. I'm a very beautiful woman who can cook, well hospitalized, who has everything at the right places, mm. front and back, <laughs> clean, Accessible, cream de la cream, beauty at its peak. Wow. <laughs> so you see, I have all in one. I can call you my all in one. Oh my goodness, you're making me blush. <laughs> but that's how it is. So, um, you know what's love? Yes. I just can't wait for that day when you and I would walk down the aisle, white wedding gown, white suits, all blazed up, all creamed up, all exclusively gorgeous. Then we walk down the aisle, look eyeball to eyeball, and say the word, I do. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> yes, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming into my life. You're a blessing to me. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been... This whole thing still looks like a dream to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not been long we met. And... It just seemed too good to be true. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? What, what have I done to deserve you? I should be the one asking that question. What have I done to deserve all in one? You're a blessing to me. I should be the one saying I'm lucky to have you. You know one thing? I promise to cherish you for the rest of my life. Oh my God. Thank you. It's your fault. Of course. How could you? How could you do this to me? Please, tell me it's not true. Think of you, please. You know, she practically had to drag me here yes. just to prove me wrong about you, Greg. Please, please take me off your words to me. True? Were they true? All, all rehearsed just to get under my skin. Please tell me the truth. Greg, talk to me. Please. Were they true? I never knew you had this jobless. So, this. Jobless fellow here came to give you some 